Well, I wrote the book Belief in the Nation uh, because I wanted to explain in terms that both Christians and non-Christians can understand the principles of political philosophy um, which can contribute to people le leading flourishing lives both as individuals and as society. It's designed to equip people, equip people to, to argue for Christian principles in the public sphere. Uh, it will give them both the philosophical background and the Christian principles uh, and also um, a lot of practical uh, issues of the day are addressed. Um, and these are not just the issues that Christians not, uh, um, are concerned about and Christian concern is rightly concerned about, issues like the uh, beginning and end of life, uh, the family, uh, freedom of speech, equality, human rights and freedom of expression. But I also deal with um, issues such as, as debt, uh, the markets, um, issues of globalisation, issues of uh, foreign aid, um, foreign policy. So I wanted to, in, on those chapters, just see if there was anything distinctively Christian we could say about these topics. And I realise I certainly won't have the, the last word on this. It's intended to be the beginning of a conversation, opening up a whole series of issues to, to Christian thinking. And I hope other people will write and respond and we'll be able to show people that Christians have things to contribute over a wide range of issues in society. Wilforce publications um, um, grew out of um, the perception that we need to have a publishing house which would publish uh, Christian books from a, a biblical perspective but which engaged with the cultural, social and political issues of our time. And there was a thought that uh, in the future it may be more difficult for Christian authors to uh, publish some of these books. and. A Christian Concern, which um, sponsored Wilforce Publications, uh, set it up with the view um, that they could create a list of books which would be um, valuable for um, putting forward ideas in the public sphere in a way that's serious and retaining that knowledge in a way that's often not possible wh when we have a blizzard of emails. Um, it was good, I think, to capture some of the ideas that have been circulating in so many parts of the web, to capture them in a book which can be a more permanent record.